What I have here is a pretty interesting little device. This is a oxyhydrogen torch that is going to be used as an ignition system for some of these gasification devices I'm working on. Here are three of my failures. And basically the trouble in building this was, was getting this spark in there. And I know it looks like a simple little process. Yeah, you hook up a dielectric with an electrode on it and bam, there you go. But getting that thing embedded in there the way that it is and getting it sealed and all that was a nightmare. Here was my first attempt. And what I learned was that if there's any cracks in the glass whatsoever, um, the spark will travel right through the crack in the glass and take the shorter path. So I was getting a spark inside that area there where I didn't want the spark to take place. So same thing happened on this one here. Um, the spark, rather than travel from the electrode to the steel, preferred to travel through a crack in the glass. And it just kept getting me every time. And what is with this camera? You can see some of the cracks in there. So this one was also a failure. But I got this one to work, but it's kind of crazy. And I'm worried about how this is going to work in a confined space. I want to show you what happens here. I'm going to turn this on. And this is, let's do wattage because that'll make more sense to you. It's about a thousand watts of oxyhydrogen gas there. <laughs> it's like a gun. Now turning it off is a little bit interesting. It does got a nice fire sticking out. That ought to shoot pretty far into the reaction chamber of the gasifier and ignite everything fairly nicely. I have to set this down to shut it off. Process all the way around. I'm just cutting that valve off. I'm gonna fire it up one more time just so you can hear how loud this is. That is so loud for that little chamber. I don't get it. But uh, yeah, this here that you see are cooling fins that will be used to keep this plastic hose from melting while the gasifier is running. They don't have anything to do with the fact this thing here is getting hot on ignition. This won't be lit for longer than a couple of seconds typically. So there it is. Day's labor. That'll be $300, sir plus parts. <laughs> no wonder we make stuff in China. You would never be able to afford this from me. But anyway, this thing should work great. I have the uh, stainless steel heat barrier on there now. Just in case any of you are wondering why I'm so interested in this part of it is because the stainless steel has a horrible thermal conductivity so it will not get hot at all even if this whole side here gets red hot I'll still be able to touch this end so I think we got what we're looking for I'm gonna test it one more time and then uh, finish it up get the wires connected and all that goodness Okay, about a thousand one hundred watts. And let's see what that does. This is the finished unit. Oops. That wasn't good at all.
I think what might have happened was my wattage was too low. Letting this thing heat up a little bit. Doesn't sound very healthy. Oh boy. So much for being sealed there tight. Definitely got a nice jet to it. Okay, I'm gonna have to shut it down. Okay. One more here. Yeah, that's just not the waters I need. I'm about 1400 watts. Dang it. Just back flashed. Nozzle's too big. <laughs> 